What is good, friends, and welcome back. I hope you're having a great day so far. The Bistro is about to end. Only 24 hours left until the event is over. Sadly, you don't have enough statues to complete your favorite hero that you've been working on for months. And at this point, you are you can't wait to try him out on the battlefield, but you're wondering, is a semi-awakened Bistro officer is as good or even better than a fully awakened standard officer? The question begs to be answered and uh, in this video we're gonna find out. In my case I'm almost done with Wings of Wanderlust. I call him the cowboy because obviously he looks like a cowboy and I can't wait to try him out. Um, so I want to test it out for you. Before I explain how I'm gonna do the testing just keep in mind, be mindful of two things. First of all, not all those bistro officers behave the same. Some of them don't have to be fully awakened to benefit from 99% of their skill on the battlefield. Uh, if we take Lady Liberty, for example, if you awaken her, you benefit from that extra grid range, but most of her good skills don't have to be fully awakened to outperform a standard officer, especially if you are an early game player. So you just reached that 75 days in Warpath and at this point, you can uh, gain access to all those recent officers and maybe you have some disposable income to level up a bistro officer. In this case, the benefit is huge because most of the opposition are still running Gen 1 officers and some of them are not even fully awakened yet. So in that case, you'll be winning. If you are a late player, maybe not. So when all the enemies are running fully awakened officers, Gen 2, 3, and uh, Gen 4, then the result may be different. So for either case, we're going to run some tests. So let me explain you how I'm going to run those tests before all you nerds out there um, <laughs> comment that it's not fair, that it doesn't make any sense. So I have to set a benchmark. I'm going to run a my light tank against somebody else light tank. I will use as a benchmark Uncle Livenkov and Madame Havoc, quite a popular combo. I will run this light tank with that specific officer pairing against the same light tank or a similar light tank and a Gen 1 officer pairing just to set the benchmark. So I'll run Madame Havoc and then second round I will replace Madame Havoc with a Wing of Wanderlust. Then I'm going to repeat the exercise against a more recent officer pairing as the opposition. So you see how he performed versus a Gen 1 or a more recent officer pairing. So for all you early players out there, this video will be useful for you. For the most advanced player, it this video will also be useful for you. It will give you an idea if it's worth risking using a partially awakened bistro officer against strong opposition. Of course, it also depends of which skills you have awakened so you don't make the same mistake as I did. So you will see later on in this video, when the test will be over, I will comment and share my thought on how it, uh, of what happened. So you better understand and know which skills you have to go for when you want to work on a bistro hero. Without further ado, let's go. Just in case you're wondering, there are no buff being used and no officer skill training. I want to eliminate all the variables that could affect the outcome. And as you can see, Uncle Ivankov and Madame Avok are far superior than a Gen 1 officer pairing. If you see the results, I killed 102 troops and only lost 9. All right, now I replaced Madame Havoc with Wings of Wanderlust to see if there is any improvement. 
it seems like I'm doing pretty good. Now I see his tactical skill going off. And let's see the result. Let me just train those units and uh, let's see the battle report. So nine. Oh, it's identical, friends. Exact same thing. Kill 102 troops and only lost nine reserves. So back to Madame Avoc, only this time I'm facing a stronger opposition. We have Rapier as a captain and a Golden Eagle as an aide. I'm doing fairly well, but it took more time than before. And let's see the battle report. Yeah, I lost, uh, instead of losing 9 units, I lost double 18 units. I'm not wasting any time here, I replaced Madame Havoc with Wings of Wanderlust, still partially awakened, and it seems like I'm doing okay. I believe I lost a few units? Oh yeah, I did worse this time, I lost 21 units instead of 18. Ooh. Yeah, not gonna lie, those results were disappointing. I expect a better performance of Wings of Wanderlust, but I understand my mistake. My mistake is I should have worked on this tactical skill as the second skill to work on, not wait until the last one. The tactical skill is what defines the Bistro Officer most of the time. So uh, I'll note next time. I'm gonna wait till the next event. I will finish off this Officer and until then, I will use one of his skills as a trainer. So you don't make the same mistake as me, all right? So we learned something today. Uh, but keep in mind that your experience may vary depending of where you are in the game and which officer you are working on. That's it for today's friend. I hope that this video was useful. If you want to support this channel, there are two ways. You can be a subscriber, so you are alerted every time a new video comes up. And you can also be a member. It only costs a dollar per month. What do you get in return? You get an exclusive badge and you have access to some exclusive content out of Warpath. So if you are a firearm enthusiast, you love guns, rifle, pistol, revolver, all that good stuff, and you want to learn more about some exclusive firearms that you may never have seen, um, be a member It only one dollar per month. Until then, friends, I will catch you on the next one. See ya.